Hey guys, MK here. I've got my new helmet here. This is the AGVK one. And we're just gonna be unboxing it today. So let's just jump right into it. So the reason I decided to get the AGVK one is because um, with my Rural currently, which is the helmet I have, I don't really wanna leave it like next to my bike when I'm going out um, for whatever reason. So this is quite a cheap helmet. It only cost me $200 in Australia. So yeah, and it was just a really good option because it's quite protective. So it's not like you're, um, you're trading safety for like price. This is still a really safe helmet and I'll explain a bit later as well, but let's just get that out of that. Alrighty. So, the AGV K1 is uh, molded thermoplastic, which isn't the greatest, greatest I'm not going to lie, but inside is where the magic happens, because the AGV K1 features a four, uh, four, like four different densities of uh, EPS foam, which makes it like quite protective. Uh, it can dampen a wider range of impacts. So like smaller impacts are gonna get dealt with with the lower density EPS, and then obviously the higher uh, and like more forceful impacts are gonna get, oh sorry, gonna get dealt with with the high density EPS foam, which is quite good. For your safety, <laughs> I mean, isn't that right? So here is the puppy, all right? I did get the warm-up version, so it's a black and red, because as you guys know, my Kawasaki is black and red, so I thought, oh, sorry, keep dropping my phone. I'm like trying to hold it between my neck and like with my chin, um, and it's just not working out, but anyway. All right, let's go handheld for now. Here is the AGVK1 if it wants to focus. There we go, awesome. So I really think this design is awesome. Um, I do like the red, as I said, it, it fits my uh, ZX3R or Ninja 300 quite well with the red and black design. So that's why I opted for this one. And I did also order a red mirrored face shield. So I will unbox that and chuck it on here when I receive that as well. So you guys can wait for that. But um, other than that, this seems really solid. Yep, so you've got the chin curtain right there and then the rest of it. This is, mm, doesn't feel that cheap. You know, I could not guess that this was a $200 helmet but I guess we'll fill it with the interior a bit later on. Anyway, uh, just outside, taking a look at it, we've got uh, intake ports uh, down here at the chins. One here, one here, and we've got one just here. Well, I think this is just to lift the visor up to stop fogging, but uh, that's quite a good addition. Uh, but this is pin lock ready, so if you wanna grab a pin lock, that would be a good idea. Uh, we've got intake ports right here as well, adjustable ones, one, two, and three. So that's quite good. I can already tell this helmet's gonna flow air quite well. And yeah, there we go. We've got passive exhausts just here. So if you guys are like, this helmet looks really familiar, you'd notice that's because this is the same exact design for the AGV's Pista GPRR, which is a race helmet. This is like pretty much what all the GP guys use, Mark Marquez included. And I mean, <laughs> they've sort of ripped them, ripped themselves off with the design here, but I'm gonna welcome it because it's really sporty. Uh, Cause you can tell with the contours here, it's kind of leaning down and the exhaust, obviously this is supposed to be like that in a full tuck position, like you can already tell. Um, so that's what I really like about it as well. It's really sporty and it's gonna match my Ninja 300 
very, very well. So that's pretty much it. Um, it comes with the manual, obviously, and then these replaceable uh, like pucks to the s like on the side here. But uh, let's be honest, <laughs> who wants green ones on a red helmet? But anyway, it's good that they give you the option. So um, just in general, I'm really happy with the helmet. <sighs> And it doesn't seem like the foam's really cheap. Let's get a closer look. All right, let's go to mount up. Awesome, so I'll take this off. Awesome, so if we just take a look in here, you've got the classic double D um, closure system here, which is always great. And just inside, we've got a little card. And, all right, let's see. There's the AGV logo. And, yeah. I am quite impressed with the padding. This is, I mean, it's cheap stuff at the end of the day. They dude that's how they get the price the thermoplastic on the outside and um they got to compromise on the uh the padding inside a little obviously but for a 200 for a 200 dollar bucket this is a really good option so if you guys are looking for something sporty uh something protective with the four layer eps uh four four density eps this is perfect so i would i would recommend this and i will be doing like a couple month review uh like wearing this so it's december right now you should probably expect one in february march something around there i'll do like a three month review and i'll let you guys know what i think about this helmet but um i will do one sooner to switch out the visor as i said uh i am getting a red mirrored one i'll i'll pop it up on screen just here it just so up i bought it off ebay for around uh, 80 bucks with pinlock installed um so that should be pretty good and when that comes, I will be sure to make another video on that uh, and just chuck it on as well. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.